Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and what I have with me today is the Cineo 2.4 GHz mini wireless keyboard. Let's get started. So this is a mini keyboard that you can use with many different devices. For example, if you have an Android box or an Android phone, PS3, an Xbox, you can pretty much use this keyboard to type and navigate a lot quicker. Now in the box here we have a manual, we also have a micro USB charging cable, and then finally we have the keyboard itself. Now if we take a look around the keyboard here, you're going to notice it looks fairly nice and it has a lot of features and buttons that you can choose from and utilize. The main thing you're going to notice is the trackpad itself, which basically is going to allow you to navigate all around and control things a little bit easier. Personally, I like the trackpad, but if you aren't a fan of the trackpad, you do have a D-pad section here. So if you're more familiar with the D-pad navigation, you can click around and navigate that way. Now it is made of plastic and it does feel kind of cheap and very light. The buttons are rubberized and the color scheme here isn't the best because you can see the buttons are black and then the lettering on the buttons is almost gray. So it's not the best choice of colors, but in terms of what you're getting compared to a remote like this one here, which is your standard Android box remote, you're gonna get a lot more navigation and you'll be able to speed through things a lot easier. Now on the back side of this keyboard here, you're gonna notice we have an open section here with our receiver inside. And that's where you're gonna connect this and how you're gonna connect this to your devices. Now I strongly suggest you use this with an Android box because that's what I'm using it with and it works best with that. You connect this up to the Android box and now you have an active keyboard that you can use because again, these remotes aren't really very user friendly. So I've got my Android box right here. I'm just going to plug in the USB dongle here and then we're basically good to go. We just need to turn on the switch up top on the keyboard and now we can activate our box. Okay, so what you're looking at here on screen is my Android box and what we're looking at on the small screen is the keyboard itself. So to give you a quick demo, we'll use the trackpad here. You can see when I scroll across on the trackpad that I get this cursor and this arrow which allows me to do whatever I want. This makes things a lot easier like navigating. We just navigate down here. If we tap on it, it'll open up my application section. We can go back by using the dedicated buttons here, which are quick buttons. If I wanted to search, this is where the keyboard is really going to shine. If we tap on the search box up top here where it says Google, just give it a tap. So we'll just type in funny movies. And obviously if you're using this, you'll be using this with two hands. I'm just doing it like this for this uh, video. It's a little bit easier for me to hold the camera as I do this. So it's going to ask us to choose a browser. We're just going to skip that for now. We'll go back, but you can see that typing is a lot easier with a keyboard rather than using the standard remotes that they come with, which is, means you're going to have to tap around and a lot of them don't even work for some reason, but we'll go back again and we'll do something that a lot of people like to do and that's watch videos. So we'll open up our applications down here. And within YouTube, again, having this trackpad is very beneficial because these applications are meant for touch features or trackpads. And unfortunately, when they're mirrored over to these boxes, they provide you with these kind of remotes that really can't navigate anywhere. You can see it's doing nothing. It's going to the search bar. I can't get down to any of the videos. If I even wanted to search, I couldn't with this remote. So we'll use a trackpad. Let's say we wanted to browse. We'll tap on browse up top, go down to let's say gaming here. Give it a tap. Now we can just select any one of these. Now you can use gestures. So if you use two fingers, you can scroll up and down. So that'll give you a little bit more. If you wanted to zoom in on things, again, it's like a pinch, just like on the iPhone or your tablet. You can't do that within these applications, but online, if you're just searching for things on the internet, you should be able to zoom in and out. So let's just go ahead and select one here. We'll watch this video. So we tap on it. It'll open up the video like it should. I'm just gonna pause it so we don't get any kind of copyright issues. And uh, then if you wanted to maximize it, you just go down to the bottom right, give it a tap, and everything works very smoothly and flawlessly and makes things a lot easier and it really makes using these Android boxes a lot more enjoyable. Now it works pretty much the same way for your Xbox or your computer and it'll help you and make things a little bit easier. I'm not sure why you would use this with a computer to be honest, but if you are using an Xbox, it might make things a little bit easier, especially if you're trying to message friends. It's just a lot quicker than using the controller. 
So that is the Senio Mini Keyboard. If you'd like to check it out, there's a link in the description. They're not very expensive at all. And if you have one of these Android boxes, I'd highly recommend you get one of these remotes. It'll just make your whole experience a lot better. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.